please welcome Serene McKellen and Dame Judy Andrews. <laughs> Very well. Good. There we oh, are. It's wonderful to have you both. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I'm glad brilliant. we didn't wear green, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> people often say. Yes, that and I did this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Now, surprisingly, you two have never worked together. But we understand. Oh. Is this right that it, you came very close? Not for here. lack of wanting, I can tell you. Well, you didn't know this, did you? Because I, I told you this morning when yes. we bumped into yes. each other that when you made that wonderful story about um, what was she called? Uh, um, Gertrude Lawrence. Gertrude Lawrence, yes. star. Yes. Of course, you had uh, uh, um, your old friend uh, Noel Coward in, uh, as one of the characters. And mm. I went up to, uh, I auditioned, I had a whole day pretending to be Noel Coward. <laughs> a whole you, day, if yeah. you please. It was wonderful. Yes. I loved it. Uh, but I didn't get the part. They went to Dan Massey, who oh. I think was nominated for an Oscar. So, uh, <laughs> what could have been? Well, we could but have had such a We yeah, could, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too well, late. No, I know. It's fine. It's fine with me. <laughs> anyway, Ian, we understand that you, you, you would like to spend a little bit more time doing a bit of singing. Is that right? Oh, well, no, 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 I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, do you think it's too late to start singing? <laughs> you no, don't. No, I you don't. don't. No. no, I don't. I mean... Don't forget, if you don't... Yes, if you like singing much, you can always sing speak. Yes, exactly. You know. yes. We've had a yeah. little go at that. I know. Yeah. Well, like, like, you like, play... Re like Rex Harrison yes, but did. Did you never play Higgins? You'd have been wonderful. I, would have li I was once asked to do it with, with the, the Scottish National Opera. And really? I thought, no, no, I can't go in and speak with, with all these opera singers what around What you should us, do so. is come and do it in concert or something. Well... In a big symphony orchestra. <laughs> How vivid is that memory of you sat right there in that very spot very singing to those children? And that's not green screen, that no. is really Austrian Alps. Yeah. So was there lots of rehearsing then? Yes, For lots. That. We did a lot of pre-rehearsals though mm -hmm. in the studio. We mapped out the number of stairs we <clears> would be walking down and where we would be running here and what we would be doing there. So the choreography was rare. we knew it yeah. before we even got there. Right. And then it was a case of mm. and, of and looking at that it. particular scene there, I mean your your finger placement on guitar was well, <laughs> thank you. I had a horrible time doing it. They kept saying, We want you back in the trailer now to keep practicing, you know. Because yeah. I didn't really you didn't play guitar. Not until I had to I couldn't do it now. And did you did you play a little bit after? I play guitar myself. I'm do sorry. you? Yes, I'm sorry. I just my grandson about... does. Oh, one of my grandsons. Well, good. two of my grandsons actually. Are you saying you didn't play the guitar? No, I did. Oh, no, she did. Yeah. I did, but it took. You know, I, I mean, I couldn't it's do not it easy. now. No. no. No, it's quite intricate. For you? <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no, something about a musical, isn't there? Yes. yes. I, uh, I can't agree with you more. Yes. And I, I had a friend who, who was in Salad Days. Remember Salad Days? Yes. That was even before The Boyfriend. I'd Julian... Slade. Slade, thank you. And Jimmy Cain Cross was in that for eight years or something, and I said, how <laughs> on earth did you do it? He said, every night I came down from the dressing room and I heard that piano and those tunes and I was away. This is one of those remarkable actors' conversations. Isn't it? It's just watching you two. <laughs> it's just it's like a dressing room, isn't it? I'll tell you something. I don't know if it's oh, here we true. Go again. Is it true of a play? If you're fortunate enough to be in a long run, mm. the first three months you're really learning your lines all over again. Yeah. The next three months of the, of the first year, the next three months you're just enjoying it completely mm. and finding nuances. The next three months, bringing you up to nine months, you are listening to the orchestrations mm. and mm. finding yeah. things and, in, and all of that. And then the last three months uh, is, well, you really have to you yeah. know, keep remembering. Do you know, we've got loads of material planned here, but maybe well, we sorry. should just, 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 just chuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> chuck it out. Well, I think you should crack on because this is lovely. Well, I'll just, I'll, let me show, just finish it? off that or respond to that because I... I, I want I, to know if it's true of a I long think, I think it is true. And, yes. and, 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 and the way round it is to treat it each performs as if it's the absolutely. first one you've ever yes, done. Because, yes. of course, it's the right. first one for the audience. Well, it's, I mean, let's it talk is. about supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, because when you started with that, it wasn't actually in the book, was it? So how did it feel um, to be singing this, what must have been well, ridiculous? Well, it was OK. Um, uh, it wasn't in the book, but the wonderful Sherman brothers who wrote the music mm. came up with this wonderful kind of rum-ti-tum musical mm. song, mm. and that was my background, was musical for years and years and years. What, what your parents were on the hall? Yes, what they did were. They do? So was I. 
all over the place. I was you're never... not, you're a little act with them. Yes, uh, eventually. Were you yeah. thrown about like Buster Keaton? <laughs> <laughs> Ted Barber and Julie Andrews, yes. And I, a lot of people remember them too. Yeah. They were a very good second top of the bill. Yeah. And my mum used to say, it's much better than being top of the bill because you don't have any of the responsibility. But I bet you became the star, didn't you? Well, it did eventually do that a little bit, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the reason you're over here, Julie, is because you're doing this fantastic <coughs> evening which looks back of your life. Ala Jones is hosting with you, isn't it? Yes, she should be. Ian, Ian should well, be doing it. Should it. Be I mean, I don't know why. I'm going to be in the audience. I'm going to be in the audience. Yes. So <laughs> how would you sum up the night then? Well, it's, um, it's a speaking engagement that I've mm. done many times. I did it in Australia last year and I had a ball. And it's really me welcoming everybody to my living room, so to speak, mm -hmm. and it's um, clips, outtakes, funny stuff, uh, montages of some of the films, lots of, oh. lots of talk about the things that I'm passionate about and mm -hmm. funny things that have happened along the way. Mm -hmm. And then Alid will join me in the second half and then he really monitors all the questions and the answers that the audience submits tons of questions mm. right and that's my favorite sure they do, yeah. so you said yeah. you've, you've sort of touched on this a few times then in your I've life I've done it, it quite a number of times does it get easier as you get older to be more you know open about your private life or do you feel that you want to be more private as you get older? um I think I want to be more private as yeah. I get older mm. yeah. what about you Ian I, the older I get, the, uh, the less confidence I've got that I've, there's anything in my life that's of interest to anybody. Oh, really? anybody. But, oh, really? Oh. But my, my work's one thing, but, yeah. but what, what I do yeah. when I'm not working, I, no, I don't want to talk no, about No, I think it's... But you, you've got kids, you don't want people... Um, no, I don't allow my kids, and, and right from the day they were born, right. I weren't allowed to be photographed or no. by, by any... Mm -hmm. uh, there were a couple of accidents that happened, but mostly no. Because it was too dangerous, mm. you know. Yeah. Ian, You've got, do you, no, I'm not, I don't have kids, no. Do you have nephews, nieces? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, they yeah. are. And, yeah. and their children. Yes. Well, it's nothing like a good uncle. Yes, thank you. Exactly. And they are going to love your new film, which the, is out of cinema oh, tomorrow, isn't are, it? Oh, yes, they It's will. Uh, the yeah. seventh instalment of the X-Men. It is. And in this one, it's, it's quite complex until you see it, but basically Wolverine is sent back, isn't he? Back in time so that right. he can create a better future. So he puts... Yeah. And you're sort of a bad guy, aren't you? Uh, I do my best, but some people don't always approve of the way I do it. <laughs> I um, see, okay. Uh, but, well. uh, and when we go into the past, of course, it's not me playing Magneto, no. it's... Mm. The wonderful Fast Michael Fassbender. Yes. It is. Oof. Yes. Well, let's take a look, no. shall we? Oh! 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 Okay, okay. Yes. Well, just watching that there, and obviously in a lot of the films that you do, all these kind of sci-fi and special effects films, what is it like for you as, a, you know, one of our finest theatre actors to suddenly be surrounded, well, you mentioned the green when you yes. came in, but green. to be surrounded by these green <laughs> screens and acting to uh, yeah, fresh air. Yeah. An awful lot of... Stuff talked about green screen, which is where uh, when we went back into the studio to do close ups that we mm -hmm. might work against the green screen. But you know, if you're on stage, that isn't a castle behind. No. no. It's not oh, a no. real room. Well, <laughs> it's just scenery. So it's we're quite not. used to yeah. <laughs> What is fascinating is when we look at clips like that and then we play the beautiful scenes in Mary Poppins where mm. obviously yes, you were having to do with the was a yellow screen uh, most of the time in those days. Yeah, it was Disney's. Version magic of Disney did the yes, rest. <laughs> Very lucky or light. Yes, isn't it? but it was a great lesson because it's the first movie I ever made, and it taught me right away the patience that's needed, mm -hmm. especially mm. for special effects. Mm. Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because they take twice as long. And that must be one of the first films using animation and real people at the and same real time. Pe I think yeah. it was. He tried it in a couple of movies, but very much smaller. This was. Very big for Disney at the time. Groundbreaking, really. Brilliant story. <laughs> it's the, these two are at it again. They're just chatting away. We're having a little chat. <laughs> we're back on. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're back, back on. on. We can't stop chatting. No, it's Can we ask you about uh, Mary Poppins? Because is it right that you originally turned down the role? No, I didn't turn it down. Mr. Disney came backstage when I was performing in Camelot yeah. and asked, I mean, I thought he was just being nice and coming mm. to visit, but he asked, could I, would I be interested in coming to Hollywood? to see the um, um, designs and to hear the songs that yeah. he was planning for this movie that he intended to make. And I was horrified and I said, oh, Mr. Disney, I would love it, I would love it, but I have to tell you, I'm pregnant. I was three months pregnant. And he said, well, that's all right, we'll wait. Oh, and, you know, really? because yeah. they were only, they were barely in pre-production. 
So you know how long it takes yeah. to get a movie up and running and ready for the mm. screen, by which time I'd had my lovely daughter Emma, and uh, uh, three months after she was born, mm. off I went with my husband at mm. that time to Disney. And Camelot, and you did that with Richard Burton? Yes. And anybody else? Um, yes, um, Billy Squires subbed for Richard at one point, um, and when he, after Richard left, he left before I did. Mm. And uh, he always... went off to make Cleopatra, Richard. Uh, yeah. mm. Do you always get a little tingle when you come back to London? Because honestly, when I drive yes. home, oh, I always course. think about Mary Poppins and, you know... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you on the yeah. earlier, especially yeah. if it's in the spring and yeah. things like that. I mean, I love this country. I love my country. It is my country. Yeah. 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 And isn't it the best thing that our greatest uh, performer of your generation sings with an English accent? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Love yes. it. Well, I've had oh, to that's blend it. I've learned a good bit, but no, I mean, there, nobody has ever been to one of your concerts or seen you or heard you sing without hearing every single word. Well, that's brilliant. Right. That was my lovely singing teacher. She was mm. a stickler for diction. Yeah. And mm. hang on to your words and your voice will... Yeah. Follow. Yeah. Do you know, we had something planned a little bit earlier, and I don't know if we've still got it there, but we have a clip of you at the age of 12 years old in your oh, yeah, first performance. Really? Hey, let's have a listen. <laughs> extraordinary you were. No, of course I it didn't. It was just what you did. Yeah, it's what I did and I had Brilliant. this kind of adult larynx in a very young mm. Yeah, your kid. voice matured yeah. very And that early, was my, my stock in trade all the time I was in Vaudeville. Mm. I was belting okay. out those kind of bastardised versions of operatic aria. Mm. Can I just tell you Go something on, about you. one of uh, Julie's uh, frocks in, in Sound of Oh music. yeah, we'd the, love to One of it. your frocks was, was auctioned. And the, the lucky bidder was Peter Jackson, who directed uh, no. Lord of the Rings. No! Well. Wow! It's at home Does in New Zealand. Does he wear it, or has he just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I said to him... I said to him Don't but, answer that, it's no, all right. No, I, won't. I, it's, yeah. I said to him at a party, uh, has, has, has Fran, your wife, tried it on? <laughs> and he said... Mm, well, yeah. and <laughs> he said, hey, Fr Fran, Fran, he's asking you about Julie Andrews' frock, and she said across the party, no! Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. So I don't know where. I'm where a huge are. fan of his. My yeah. God. Well, listen, Peter, if you're out there, put the, put the dress on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, send in a picture. You're doing quite a lot of research. You have done in the past in medical the pa research. In about uh, 1972 yeah. or something. All on I, DNA. I, all on DNA and RNA and all of that. I, I had an idea for a book. I saw the name Wine Doodles, and I thought, oh my God. Long before I wrote the book, I said I'm going to write a book called The Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles. And it was all about being the last. He needed a mate. And um, yeah. so they had to, you, I had to research like crazy. Could it be done? And yes, indeed, it could. Wow. And uh, with DNA and finding a, you know, getting a suitable donor and all of that. Yeah. Do you know, we were talking about maybe doing a DNA film, so maybe if you're free, you well, could uh, yes. maybe do that for us. <laughs> Julie, that You've would be wonderful. You've got a little bit of time in your schedule. Yeah. <laughs> is it right that you used to be able to, to well, pick yeah. up that <coughs> and have My a parents, you know, towards the end of the war, which is when the doodlebugs were coming fast and furious, mm. it was towards the end, but no housewife could bake a cake or do their washing or, or get the laundry done or anything, change the beds. So that my mum would stay in the house till the last possible moment and m muggins would have to to go out and sit on top of the shelter with a whistle and an umbrella because it was always raining <laughs> and I protested mightily but no I could tell the difference then I don't know if I still could between a, a doodlebug and, and one of ours and when I heard a doodlebug coming I'd blow the whistle and everybody would Stop. run into the shelter yes and, yeah. the, yeah. and the umbrella did you then float up into no, the air no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. But, well, of course one day I forgot to blow the whistle I wouldn't go I was pouring with rain and so many neighbors came around and said bloody hell why didn't she blow her whistle we were all yeah. caught unawares you know so yeah. they'd been relying on it well well dan's found these brilliant audio files so we can actually hear the sound of the doodle bug mm. now yeah here we are it had a groan still familiar yeah yeah it's a horrible noise yeah. actually well, um, um, does any, I don't know if anybody else from them, you know. Yeah. And Ian, what was the moment for you when you first went to theatre and thought, this is it for me, this is what I want my life to be? 
You will know who I'm talking about. I saw Ivan Novello in King's Rhapsody. Oh, my God! No. Was, it wasn't with Anna... <laughs> I love this! Uh, no, 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 Anna, not Anna Neagle. <clears throat> it was uh, Vanessa Lee. Yes, and, and, that's right. Um, Olive Gilbert and the yes. Zeno Phyllis Dare. Oh, my God! Bobby, with, with Bobby the... Andrews, no, <laughs> yes. no, no relation. No, but, but Zena was in My Fair Lady. Oh, yes, of course she was. She was in the My Fair Lady production in yeah. London. But, you see, Ivan Novello was before Oscar and Hammerstein, Oscar and Hammerstein before... Oh, Music was lovely. He was our great Welsh, mm -hmm. the great Welsh we'll uh, gather composer. Lilacs. We'll gather And lilacs. with that crossover, is it fair to say that you came to film fairly late? No, because I, I, I've made films ever since I started. They were all so bad you never saw them, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the very, very first film I made was called The Bells of Hell Go Tingling-a-Ling, and it was a First World War movie, right. adventure movie, set during the summer, in Switzerland, and it was it was taking advantage of the success of Sound of Music. There were lots of kids in it. Wow. There was no music, <clears> but oh, I think they actually did sing a bit. And the snow started early that year. Well, it can. And started yeah. snowing, and the whole film was abandoned. So oh, wow. Uh. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I got four thousand pounds, my entire salary, and I could meant I could yeah. put it in the bank and go and work wherever I wanted. Yeah. Mm. But the big success, though, was Richard III. That was the film that actually catapulted you into, into the big time, so and to I speak, think that's when of films. The film people thought, oh, well, perhaps he doesn't just shout all the time. He, he... Yes, no. oh, you did. And honestly, <laughs> you had a real effect did. on me with that. Let's, let's just have a I'd look at one of those key speeches. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Let's and Maggie. Um, um, Ma Maggie Smith there, playing my mother, yes. yes, yes. She wasn't best pleased about that. <laughs> <laughs> But the technique there, because you make it very accessible. Well, I went to the speech. Julie Andrews School of Diction. You, yeah. you, ah, tell but right. you, can, you can't pretend that you couldn't sing, not with that voice. Ah, well, thank you. Yes, yes. Well, I will. I, 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 all right. I'm going to take that as, <laughs> yeah, take that as yeah. an encouragement. Let's do one together. But obviously, oh. I mean, the difference, what you must have felt there, filming that scene to doing that speech you know, in front of a full auditorium. The best, the best thing intimate. about that was that I'd played it so long on stage yeah. that when it came into the studio, all I had to concentrate on was not how to play it, but uh, n not, not what I was going to do with it, but what I was going to do with it in terms of it being cinema rather than theatre. Yeah. So it, uh, it, was, it was a good way of doing uh, a major part in a film for the first time. Wonderful, they're mm. wonderful. Mm. Mm. And we should finish with Josh and his brother, dressed up as uh, Goku <laughs> and... Uh, Magneto, there we are. Oh, great, great. And we were just saying there that you could actually be an X-Men because you have a metal foot. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm, I'm a bionic <laughs> woman, did you know that? I did not know I, I have that. A, a, um, a bionic ankle. I How had come? About uh, two years ago. Well, it was so <laughs> bad, I had to do that or end up in a wheelchair. So I, I had it done and it is brilliant. It really, and it doesn't go off because it's titanium. It doesn't go off through the uh, airports uh, or anything. You, do, yeah. do, does it manipulate itself or do you have to... No, it's in there and I make it... The muscles are all still around oh, I see. and all I of see. that. Okay. Well, but yeah. it's the most beautiful piece of equipment. It really brilliant. is. It's like oh. having the, a hip or a or yeah, knees. Yeah. You know? The eighth X-Men. You yes. can join in, yes. Can I just say that I've thoroughly enjoyed listening to the pair of you. Yes. You've been wonderful. Oh, well, <laughs> thanks We're doing very much now. To you thanks, Ian. And all the best for the new X Men movies. Thank Out you. in cinemas tomorrow, days of future past. Yeah, if you do want to sit there and keep talking, you know, feel free. You want to... <laughs> anyway, good luck with the tour, which starts tomorrow uh, in yes, Birmingham this Saturday. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>